Hi folks, Jeremy Schaefer here. Today I'm going to show you how to turn a pair of shoes like these into a pair of shoes like these. Alright, so the first step is to go out and buy some canvas shoes. I think I found these at Payless. And now we're going to cover the rubber part with this blue painter's tape. So just run it right along the top of the rubber, all the way around the shoe. You could probably also use scotch tape, but I think the painter's tape is particularly good for this job because it's called the painter's tape. You can put little pleats on it when you go around the curves. Okay, and just press this. And now you want to put these lines on. This could go at any angle, but this is the angle that I like. And I like having the stripes the same width, so this width is the same as this width. Alright, and continue. It might be a little easier if you put a hand inside the shoe. Remember to always press it down firmly. Towards the back here, you don't need as much angle. All right, so there's one shoe. And might as well do the other shoe also. All right, so now we're ready to paint the shoes. And you can really paint them any color you'd like, but uh, since I like rainbows, I'm gonna paint it a uh, rainbow color. So we're going to start out uh, acrylic paint, and we're gonna paint this red and then hold off on the orange and then do the yellow and hold off on the green and then do blue and then hold off on the purple and then we'll go back to red. Alright, so I'm going to start out with the red and here we go. So you can really just go right onto the tape as long as it's down. It's good, you don't need to be too careful. All the time is spent on the tape. so. That's how painting works. If you use tape, then it makes it really clean looking, even though you did it very fast. All right, so that's red. So we're going to go red, orange, yellow. So now we're gonna do the yellow. And it's really best to use another brush you can. And these brushes, they're chisel or whatever. Okay, so red, orange, yellow. And green, we're not gonna do yet we're going to do blue. The nice thing about acrylic paint is that it really is waterproof, so it makes the shoes not only permanent, but more waterproof than, than they would be otherwise. Just in case your tape isn't going down all the way, you should probably go from the tape to the canvas. Tape to the canvas, rather than the canvas to the tape, because otherwise the paint might slip under the little holes if the tape isn't all the way down. Okay, and now back to the red. Okay, and now for the yellow again. Okay, and blue. And the yellow. Alright, so one shoe is done. Well, not quite, but it's halfway done. Alright, so now we're going to do the same thing on the other shoe so that we don't need to change colors yet. So, all right up, and here we go. All right, and now we are ready to take the tape off. And you don't need to wait for it to dry because if you wait for it to dry, then it'll be harder to take the tape off. All right, so that's kind of nice like that, but uh, I think we can do a little bit more color. And you don't want to take this last piece of tape off because we're not done painting it. All 
All right. Now you want to discard all of this. You should probably wear gloves. I should have told you that. But uh, if you didn't like me, then it's time to uh, throw this away and uh, wash your hands and make sure to wash the brushes in a bowl of water. All right, and now we can just uh, put the caps back on these. And you really could let the paint dry and then do tape again on the whole thing, but I think it's just a lot easier. Maybe not quite as perfect, but uh, a lot easier just to go for it. So, all right, so here we go. We're going to uh, do the orange first. And since I didn't have orange, I mixed uh, yellow and red, and hopefully this orange will be acceptable. And these are chisel brushes, so it makes it a little bit easier than some other brushes. And you just go really carefully to the line. I figure that's about as easy as putting a piece of tape down, and we already painted it. We might have to fill in some yellow afterwards. Do some touch-up. Okay, so we'll continue with the orange in between the red and the yellow. Okay, orange, and now we need the purple. Purple is between the blue and the red. Okay, and now for the green. I just realized I don't like this green. I guess I should have tested it before, but anyway, I went ahead and uh, tried to blot it out with tissue paper, and I'm going to try to paint over it. That seems to work. Well, I might have to do a few layers. That green was called medium green. <laughs> That's medium green. What is the dark green? Anyway, this is light green. It's a different brand. Need to do a little touch-ups, but there's uh, one shoe. It's all done, and then you can take this tape off. There it is, the rainbow shoe. All right, I just have to do the other one. Here it goes. Here are my new rainbow shoes. And I might touch them up a little bit afterwards. All right, well, have fun coloring your shoes. Jeremy Schaefer signing out. Bye-bye.